Hi, my name is Ade and I'm a debate mate mentor. Uh, I was the mentor at Stretford High in Manchester as part of the Kings and Queens of Speech. Initially, you know, being behind the camera is a bit, is a bit weird. You're thinking, oh, there's this guy, you know, having, you know, a camera recording of everything I'm saying. Uh, and it's a, it's a bit off-putting. Uh, and the student said that. I, I know Marnie always used to tell me about the cameras and how she felt weird about them. Uh, but after you do it for a, a long uh, time, you start to get used to it. Uh, and the cameras kind of fade away and you, you don't really notice they're there after, after some time. At the finals, when uh, Imani uh, had a, a bad debate in the, in the lead up, and then she came back and kind of redeemed herself. Uh, and also Mohammed's speech uh, at the uh, final trials to make the team, which was incredible. Like, uh, it, I didn't expect that. I was, I was sat there thinking, what, is, is this, is this Mohammed giving this speech? Uh, and it turns out it was him. Uh, and he just decided to step up to the plate on the day. Uh, and that was, uh, that was quite good. I know Kamal will be uh, leading a country somewhere. He's uh, going to be Prime Minister or President in some place. He's got all the leadership qualities and confidence, so he came into the process already on the, on the way to being you know, just an incredible speaker. I think Mohammed is going to be doing something, uh, something analytical, something science-based. Uh, I can see him just taking a step back and being the more nuanced thinker. Um, I think Imani is going to be on TV. <laughs> She's going to be uh, on big screens, uh, just entertaining people. And uh, Ellie, uh, well, I see Ellie being someone who's in a field that needs a fierce person who has loads of fight in them. Uh, and uh, I think Ellie will be good for anything that requires that much, maybe in the House of Commons. Seeing myself on TV was, uh, it was interesting. Uh, you, I always find that my, my voice sounds so much more different on TV. Um, it was uh, it was it was fun. It was fun. Uh, you you, tr you try your best not to spend the whole time looking at how uh, you you were dressed or something like that. Uh, but it was good on the whole. I, I enjoyed it. I think they'll like it. I think well, I think my sister will be really jealous. She wasn't on it because she's at St Angela's, which is a debate mate school. Um, uh, but the the rest uh, the rest of them will be you know just happy to see. It, I think. So I started off as a debate mate student on the program. Uh, you know, I saw the same kind of mentor that I am now uh, coming in to teach the, the uh, you know debate mate cup and uh, send us to the UDL and the Urban Debate League and all those stuff. It's quite fun actually being uh, on the mentor side of things. It's, you got you kind of build a, a relationship with the students. Uh, you know, none of them know anything about football, but at least we can say that they uh, they can learn a, a few things from me uh, about debating. Debate mate to me uh, is a confidence and an empowerment uh, to ensure that you can be confident in what you're saying and you can trust your own judgment. Uh, I think that's hugely important and I think debating and debate mate has given me that ability uh, you know, along with other things and I think uh, I'm happy to continue helping people gain that uh, as well. When I'm not mentoring, I'm a student uh, at the University of Nottingham uh, doing economics and philosophy. I've got the small matter of my last year at uni to, to you know, navigate through first and then uh, after that it's going into the world of work and uh, making a career.